Hey, I'm Tricker Drummond. Today we're talking about your hematocrit. Uh, I got my tray, handy dandy little piece of paper here today because there's no way that I would remember all these numbers and dates and everything without having something to reference back to. But your hematocrit is one of those things that when you go on to testosterone replacement therapy, TRT, uh, your hematocrit is one of the things that your physician is going to keep an eye on. And it's because your hematocrit is a ratio of, blood, of red blood cells in your total amount of blood. One of the byproducts of testosterone replacement therapy can be an increase in the production of red blood cells. So when you get your labs done, your physician's going to want to continue to monitor the amount of red blood cells that you're actually producing because a significant increase in the amount of red blood cells can, can you know, lead them to know that maybe your dose is too high, they need to back your dose down, uh, or take other measures. So, I, you know, one of the things that I... I always keep an eye on when I get my blood work done is my hematocrit. And I'm gonna show you one way, not just to look at the total hematocrit um, number that you get, but one thing that's gonna actually kind of help you uh, tell you where you are as far as your hematocrit and overall where you are um, as far as hydration, okay? So uh, your hem normal hemoglobin, when you get your blood work done, you're gonna wanna look at both your hemoglobin and your hematocrit. And why this is important, I'll explain it to you in a minute. Your normal hemoglobin levels are 13.2 to 17.1. Now, this is the reference range of the lab that my doctor uses when we do my blood work. Um, and your normal reference range for hematocrit being 38.5 to 50. Uh, it's a little bit different than what we were taught in paramedic school. In paramedic school, we were actually taught normal hematocrits, 35 to 45. But 38.5 to 50. So, when I had my blood work done... In April, my hemoglobin was 15.4 and my hematocrit was 47.1. Uh, that's April 2020. When I had my blood work done in October of 2020, my hemoglobin was 15.7 and my hematocrit was 48.6. And when I had my when I had my blood work done in April of this year, 2021, my hemoglobin was 15.3 and my hematocrit was 43.6. Now, every one of those was a, within normal range. Nothing stood out, nothing, you know, to really um, write home about as far as being outside the range. But one of the ways to tell whether or not you're keeping yourself properly hydrated is the ratio of hemoglobin to hematocrit, believe it or not. So your hematocrit should be generally three times the number of your hemoglobin. So if we're looking at 15.4 uh, in April of 2020, 15.4 on a hemoglobin with a hematocrit of 47.1, your normal, uh, fit, normal times three of your hemoglobin would be 46.2. So at 47.1, we actually had an overabundance by ratio of hemoglobin of red blood cells, right? So what that tells us is we're dehydrated. We're not, we're not keeping up with our water enough. We're dehydrated. We need to keep up with hydration, right? So we go up to October, 2020. Well, again, 15.7 to 48.6. Three times 15.7 would be 47.1. So 47.1 is obviously lower than 48.6. So once again, in that blood work, in that range of that blood work, we're still behind on hydration. We're still low. We've got an overabundance of red blood cells in relation to our hemoglobin. We're dehydrated. We need to catch up on our hydration. Now, I told you, I watch my numbers, right? So, man, I start pounding water, you know? And again, this is not something that, you know, like, oh my God, because Every one of these reference ranges is within normal limits, but it, I've told you guys before, I'm really particular about my numbers, really particular about my overall health. If I see something that needs to be adjusted, I'm going after it. I'm going to try to make it a better number, right? So we make it to April 2021, 15.3, 43.6. Three times 15.3 would be 45.9. Now we're hydrated, but we we overshot the mark a little bit, right? Because uh, 43.6 in relation to 45.9 is a little bit 
overhydrated. Okay, so again, not the most important thing in the world, but if you're wanting to look at your hematocrit and hematocrit being one of those things, you know, an increase in the production of red blood cells, uh, hematocrit being one of those things that you can monitor to see where you are on your TRT, um, that overproduction of red blood cells in relation to your total hydration, because you want to keep, um, you know, that, that ratio of hemoglobin to hematocrit right as close as you can to three now <laughs> again i told you i talked to my doctor about everything like when i said oh you know i'm a, I'm a little bit over he's like don't worry about it like <laughs> seriously you're not worried about this number i worry about it it's just what i do so you know i, I start making adjustments making sure i'm keeping myself hydrated because again you know, in the building of muscle and your overall health, one of the worst things you can do is get yourself behind on hydration and not be hydrated enough, okay? So, you know, uh, I pay attention to the numbers, giving you a little bit of information on how you can interpret some of your blood work and pay attention to the numbers. If, if you take your hemoglobin, you multiply it by three, if your hematocrit number is under that times three, that means you're a little bit overhydrated. If your hematocrit number is over that times three, then that means you've got an over amount of hematocrit or red blood cells and you're dehydrated, okay? Worse to be dehydrated than it is to be overhydrated unless it's a significant number. And again, I told you, my doctor really wasn't worried about either one of those things everything was still within normal range really where you'd start to see that issue is if you were looking in that reference range and your hemoglobin was on the bottom side that 13.2 and your and your hematocrit was up here at 50 i you know that would be that would be something to be concerned about and that was a discussion that i had with my physician as well so not normal to use uh make videos for you guys and keep looking down at a piece of paper apologize for that but i want to make sure i got the numbers right and i want to make sure that you know as we talked about this hemoglobin hematocrit ratio that we were getting that right too uh, and correct dates and everything but it's a good rule of thumb you want to try to keep your hematocrit to the number that's three times your hemoglobin if you can do it that means you're you're right on par for hydration. You don't have an over amount of red blood cells as long as you're within normal range. And you know, you're you've got some good blood work going on. So thought I would share that tip with you today. I'm Trick or Trauma. You guys have a good day.